Hello everybody, this is Sam from Tag to Schooling and today we are going to talk about an important topic that is the thoracic duct which is also known as Van Horn's Canal and you must remember one thing that this thoracic duct is the largest duct which collects, which collects lymph is the largest duct in the human body so let's get started with our thoracic duct so thoracic duct is a seven it's it collects 75 percent of the lymph of body aside from right upper limb right breast right lung and right side of head and neck and it passes through the, the, the all and except these areas all the lymph passes through the thoracic duct and this this is the area here is shown this is the right right uh, upper limb the breast area, the head and neck of the right side, this is not supplied by the thoracic duct. It's actually supplied by the right lymphatic duct. But the two lower limbs and the lower part of the two lower limbs, the lower part of the uh, abdomen and the right, the left, actually, the left thorax and left upper limb and head, left head and neck is supplied by the thoracic duct. Remember that. This all area is supplied by the thoracic duct and the right side is not supplied by the thoracic duct but it's actually supplied by the right lymphatic duct. So let's move on and say that this duct, which is called thoracic duct, it, is, it actually starts at the level of T12 of vertebra. We are going to discuss it here, but this is something, this is the lower part, we are going to discuss it. But remember that the thoracic duct, we are being specific. The thoracic duct starts from T12. Do not say that it starts from lower limb, never, never. There are other, the lower, the lower limb has lumbar lymph trunk and the uh, intestinal lymph trunk is uh, on the intestine area, but the thoracic duct starts here. At the level of T12 and its size is about for it's actually in length it's about 40 centimeter in length and at this area its width is about 5 millimeter at the abdominal origin so the thoracic duct actually crosses the uh, erotic hiatus at level of T12 as well and uh, let's discuss the pathway from uh, from this tarp this is the uh, this is uh, these these uh, here are the limbs of the lower limb and it it get collected and moves on and it, uh, the even the intestinal limb limbs move upward and enter into this uh, sac. This is a dilated sac. It's nothing. They 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 kept a fancy name called cisterna chile. There's nothing to worry about it. It's not uh, it's not something. Uh, uh, something uh, new is just uh, it's just a dilated sac it's just this dilated sac called cisterni chile it's just its name and as we get above the cisterni chile we enter the thoracic duct at the level of t12 and we move upward upward as we move upward at the level of t5 it actually takes a turn and again become a straight at the, uh, with, with the esophagus and just moves upward and at the level of C7 it takes a right it takes a right turn and at the, even we can say that at the level of C7 it actually drains because we are going to discuss it here it moves on at C7 it crosses it crosses that and takes a right turn head goes and it drains in between there's, it, it is forming an angle, this angle, this area it drains here. This angle, this area is called Pirogov's angle. And this, it drains between the left internal jugular vein and subclavian vein. Remember that, it's very necessary that the thoracic vein, be specific, the thoracic vein drains between left internal jugular vein and subclavian vein. At, at the angle called Pirogov's angle. And at which level, if somebody asks you, uh, does the uh, thoracic, uh, thoracic duct end, you would be saying C7. At which level it take turns at T5. At which level it starts at T12. So this is the basic concept of the thoracic duct. And remember where it goes now as it drains uh, at the Perugov's angle and re-enters the systemic, systemic venous circuit.
lation. So this is all about the thoracic duct. There is nothing hard about it. I hope you understood all of it and uh, please make sure you comment on it and for future videos, please visit Tides is Cooling.